everybody, it's Mike Lanning again, local realtor working with Keller Williams, Southern Tier and Finger Lakes. And it's my pleasure today to be at Curly's Chicken House here in Elmire Heights. And I'm here with the owner, Christy Mertzak. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So uh, we really would love to um, hear about the history of the business. And I know people out there, including myself, are curious about, it's a long standing business. So can you tell yes. us about that? Curly's has been here for 62 years. Um, the last 20 years, my father owned the restaurant. Um, he just recently retired, and my husband and I bought the restaurant in January. Just in January? Just in January. Wow. Yeah. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah? Very busy. A lot of hard work, but we're really, really loving it. We made a good decision. So that's what I'm finding out by uh, you know interviewing other business owners is that even though it's been established for a long time, mm -hmm. The hard work doesn't go away. Oh no! It's, it's still you know a lot <laughs> yes. of work. And to... maintaining instead of building a reputation, you're maintaining a reputation. Right, right. Which can be just as difficult. So let's go back to uh, you know the products that you have that have made it 62 years. I mean, what's right. what's the what's the claim to fame? We have a secret basting sauce recipe that we use on our rotisserie chicken, and a secret coleslaw recipe that we use for our coleslaw which is like no other. And everybody always wants our recipes, but they are secret. <laughs> Only a few people know them, but we've been using the same recipes for 62 years. Wow, and so uh, you're not the first business that I've interviewed that has a secret sauce. <laughs> and that's, what, that's what's great about these uh, smaller hometown businesses is that they have that unique you know, uh, value that they sell. Right. That people, um, you know, there's McDonald's is a franchise that, you know, you, wherever you go, the same hamburger you get. Right. But people come to Curly's for the same recipe right. all the time, correct? Correct. Nice. They nice. come, when they come here, they're coming for the chicken and coleslaw. Yeah. 90% of the time. So that's what you would say is most unique about Curly's. Most unique, yes. Yeah, right. So let's talk about the business and so far since January. Um, what do you like best about it so far? I think the best thing I like about Curly's or my most favorite thing would be just the customers. We have a variety of customers of people that have been coming here since they were, they were children and now they're in their 70s. They've been coming um, generations of people. We have people that come in all the time and say, oh, my grandparents always ate here, or my parents always brought me here when I was a kid, or I can remember coming in here when I was two, two and three, and getting lollipops off the lollipop tree yes. that we've had for 60 years. Same lollipop tree, same yeah, place. I'm looking at it right now. Yep. <laughs> so that's, I think that's the best part, is just hearing the stories um, from the customers that have been coming here for so long and you know, getting to know them. Well, there's nothing like uh, the generational type of business, right. you know, where, you know, and I've heard other people say that too, that part of their pleasure is seeing the kids of the parents and the, their kids later on. And right. so, wow, 62 years, you can do that. Right. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things that I've been asking all the businesses that I interview is the importance of local commerce and right. buying local. So what are your thoughts? Well, I, I think buying local is very important, and we try to do that through the business with products and things that we buy. And as a family, my family, my husband and I try to do that personally because it is important to support local businesses. And being a local business, we you know, enjoy that support back. And this, these times um, these times right now, it's, it's, it's hard on local businesses sure. and small businesses to be successful. So definitely we support that. Well, and one of the things that I just thought about we had a pre-conversation before we went on camera and you were talking about the regulars. You wanna talk a little bit about the fact that you have regulars? Yes, we definitely, we have regulars. And my my waitresses and even my cooks, we know most of our customers' names. They've been coming here for years. Um, the girls, they take time to get to know the customers. You know, we treat them like we're a big family. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you know, it's important as uh, a small business to you know make people feel as their home you know this is a mom and pop shop you know come in it's like you're eating dinner with your family yeah and and it feels that way yeah and, you know folks if you haven't been here and i have to say too christy by the way this is the first time i've ever been in here i've driven by here a million times right i've heard i've heard that and, before and i have to tell you it's not anything like what i pictured right so um and, and i don't even know what that means i just know that 
I'm glad I'm here. I'm getting dinner here tonight, folks. <laughs> and uh, I want to know what the hype's about because I've always heard how good it is. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited just to try it out myself. Yeah, so, well, good. We're glad to have you. Yeah, great. Um, so the people that work here, um, what about them in terms of uh, the length of time? Do you have a lot of veterans? Oh, yeah. And I, have, um, I have a couple people who have been here 20 or plus years. Um, even before my father bought the restaurant. I have, um, I have several employees been here 10 plus years. Um, it's, it's just amazing, Pe you know, people come to work here and they want to stay. They enjoy the family atmosphere. Um, it's, it's good business, you know. Um, we have a thriving business. And we're doing well, um, improving every year. So, um, and I also wanted, sorry to interrupt, I also wanted to ask you because I don't want, I didn't want to forget, just because you owned it since January doesn't mean that's where your start was. You, you Right. I worked with my, my father before I bought the restaurant. For how long? As an apprenticeship. I worked with him for him um, several years ago, mm -hmm. for several years, and then I decided I was going to go back to college and I was going to do something different out of the restaurant business, went and got my degree in psychology. and. And I never really left the restaurant business. It's just, that's what I like to do. That's what I'm good at. So here I am. So you're happy. <laughs> so I'm happy. Yep. So I came back and I worked with him for some time, um, knowing that I was going to buy the restaurant at mm -hmm. some point, And here we are today. Nice. I also wanted to say, um, I, I mentioned before about um, my, my servers and my cooks and stuff, knowing our customers, knowing their names. Yeah. But I also want to say that our customers, they know our cooks, they know our servers, they ask, you know, who's cooking, they, they'll they yell back in the kitchen, hi to PJ or, you know, hi to Jeff, they, they know them. So our customers know our employees just as well as our employees know our customers. It's a hometown yes. place. Yes, That's definitely. Great. So not just the great food that we talked a little bit about, but you also do other services. Uh, what what kind of things do you do uh, as part of the business outside of just people coming in? Yep, we do um, we do catering. We cater weddings. We cater family reunions, um, Christmas parties, business parties, picnics. We do all kinds of catering. Um, we also do local deliveries every day with doctor's offices, things like that. Um, smaller orders, but for um, local businesses, um, lunches, things like that. Um, we also have a banquet room out back that we use. We, um, I would say rent it out, but we don't charge a fee for it. It's mm -hmm. free um, for birthday parties, baby showers, um, group, great. Um, business meetings. Um, we have a couple of like a car club that comes in oh, and neat. once once a month and nice. has a big lunch and things like that. Well, it's good yep. for business and it's good for them. So yep, absolutely. that really goes back to the local commerce and helping each other out. One hand washes yep. the other. and. Yeah, very nice. So, yeah. um, what goals do you have for Curly's now on your tenure as you begin? Well, we have got some. You know, we're obviously not going to change um, things that are working. The secret we don't sauce, wanna, right? We're not change. changing the secret <laughs> sauce. We want to keep everything that's working. But we've we've got a few new fresh things that we're trying. We've been trying fried chicken. We've been doing that a couple times a week, and that seems to be going over really well. It's one of my we favorites. think we'll be adding that to our permanent menu Great. here soon. Um, we are also starting. Um, this week we're installing soft ice cream machines. We're going to be doing um, ice cream, ice cream cones, ice cream sundaes. Um, so that's new to us. And we have some other fresh ideas that we're pondering out doing over the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. But so we're going to keep things fresh, but keep things old as well. That's an important right. balance, isn't it? <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so that reminds me, I was as I was taking some footage. I see you have a pretty nice dessert. Oh yeah. <laughs> Selection there. Yes. Is that homemade? Is that brought yes. in? Most of everything in there is homemade. Wow. Um, I actually make the desserts myself. Do you? Um, I, with the help from my daughter, but she's out on maternity leave right now. But um, most every dessert in there we make ourselves and we make a killing on desserts. People That's great. come in, you can buy whole pies. Um, you can order Just them ahead of time. To go. Yep, you come yep. in and take them out. Nice. People call and order them ahead of time. Right. Um, on Mondays we do a buy two pies, get one free. So. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, how about um, your contact information for people? Well, we're currently working on a website. We have we don't have it yet, but we are on Facebook, um, Curly's Chicken House on Facebook. Um, we also do carry out. We do a ton of carry out. Um, we do have carry out menus that are available to take home. Um, our phone number is 607-732-2334. Great. 
Right. So in your house on Facebook, yep. Curly's Chicken House. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the last thing I wanted to ask, and I almost forgot, but you, you mentioned your daughter helping you. Yes. So um, what do you like to do when you're not working? I mean, I know you work a lot. But <laughs> I what, work a lot. What's the other parts? Um, I, I'm very, we're very family oriented. Um, we have four children, me and my husband between us. We've got two grandchildren. Um, one and newborn just, it was just born a couple days ago. Three days, right? <laughs> yep. Nice. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Um, but outside of work, we do things as, you know, families might, we're big into hunting and fishing and camping nice. and, you know, doing the outdoorsy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. When we get free time. <laughs> so there again, I'm sure you're, um, you know, helping the local economy by all Absolutely. the camping and the fishing. Oh, yeah. And, uh, hunting and you know so you know um, that's the great thing that I have to say to you and to the audience is that uh, you're the 21st interview and the thing that blows me away is the fact that all these small business owners are just regular people that live there they don't come in and leave at night they don't nope. take their money outside they're here they live here you see them in church you see them in the you know grocery store um, and I've had people literally say that, and I think that is the beauty of small business. Right, I agree. So I want to congratulate you Thank on you. your new, uh, not only adventure. grandbaby, but your new adventure. <laughs> this is like a new, new grandbaby it is, almost. It is. So, yep. and you know, just from talking to you and hearing the plans that you have and the vision that you have, I think it's going to be great. Oh, so, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Hey guys. Here I am at home. Uh, as promised, I got dinner tonight down there at Curly's, and uh, I can't wait to try it. But I have to tell you, it was a long ride home because, boy, did the car smell good. And my dog, Holly, she's running around here. Um, she's going crazy. So here we go. I'm going to get a little taste of this. And it's a big portion. It's a half chicken rotisserie. Still warm. Mm. I'm a fried chicken fan, but I have to tell you, it couldn't be better. I got the half meal. That includes some uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm. Very good. Coleslaw. Get a roll, uh, butter. Um, mm. All right, I'm gonna have to go because I have to finish this. Um, go to Curly's, check it out. Lake Road, Elmira Heights. This has been brought to you by Michael J. Lanning Productions, a real estate agent with Keller Williams, Southern Tier, and Finger Lakes.